classroom. Hi everyone, welcome to the classroom. It's nice to see you. Would you like to see a magic trick? I can make this block move from here to there without touching it. You wanna see? Let's say the magic word all together. We'll say abracadabra on the count of three. One, two, three. Abracadabra! Look at it go. It's moving. Wow! What an incredible magic trick. How is it possible, you say? <laughs> I'll show you. It's the magic of magnets. Actually, it's the science of magnets. This is a magnet and there's a magnet under the block. Magnets attract other magnets through magnetism. And the attraction between these two magnets is so strong that I can move the magnet on the block with a magnet underneath. So it looks like it's moving without touching it. Pretty neat. Magnets are really powerful and very interesting. We have lots to explore in the classroom today. But first, let's wave a big hello to all our friends. Let's wave and sing. Hello, hello, what's your name? Hello, hello, what's your name? My name is Katie. What's your name? Shout it out nice and loud. Nice to meet you. Let's be friends. Hooray! <laughs> I'm excited. Magnets can be really small. So it's always important that we have a grown up around whenever we're playing with them. Magnets are used for all kinds of different things all around us. They're a really useful tool because they stick to some things, but not to everything. What are some things that a magnet might not stick to? Hmm, I'm curious. Let's check the curiosity cupboard. Aha, look what's inside. There's a magnet and a glass with blue plastic beads and another glass with some red paper clips. What do you think will stick to the magnet? Let's try the blue plastic beads. Do you think they'll stick? Let's see. Oh, no plastic beads. The plastic beads do not stick to the magnet. That's right. What about the red paper clips? Paper clips are made out of metal. Do you think they'll stick to the magnet? Let's see. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, it's covered. The red paper clips went straight to the magnet. How? So the magnet does stick to the metal paper clips, but not to the plastic beads. I have an idea. Let's use the magnet to go on a treasure hunt in the discovery bin. The discovery bin is filled with plastic beads. Now we know the magnet won't stick to the plastic beads, but it will stick to the other magnets and metal things hiding underneath. Let's see what we can find. Ooh, oh, here's something. <laughs> Look at that. It's a metal cookie cutter in the shape of a bird. That's some good treasure. And what's this one? Ooh, it's a metal pin. Let's see what else we can find. Treasure. <laughs> we have 
a hole punch, a lid to a jar, and a clip that are all sticking to our magnet. And what's this? A coin! Wow, some really good treasure. Here is a pencil sharpener. The magnet sticking to the metal part of the pencil sharpener. And another paper clip. <laughs> see what else is in here. What's this? <laughs> a fork. Wow, the fork sticks to the magnet really well. And a green paper clip. Huh. What else will we find? What is this? Ooh, there's a magnet on this M. M is for magnet. <laughs> Let's keep searching. Whoa. <gasps> a ruler. It's a metal ruler. <laughs> There's all sorts of things hiding inside the discovery bin. Whoop. Ooh, a white paper clip and oh, a fish with a magnet on the back. Wow. We found lots of treasure. Look at all this stuff. Woo -hoo. We can help our fish friend find some treasure too with a magnet maze. Take a look at this. Do you see the treasure chest? Right there. We can help our fish friend with the magnet on the back get all the way to the treasure chest through the maze. We'll make the fish move with the magnet underneath, just like our magic trick. Whoop, ready? Here we go. Go fishy, 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 fishy. Whee! <laughs> Look at it swim. Here we go. Uh-oh, dead end. Let's turn around, try the other way. Whee! Let's cheer for our fish friend. You can do it! Swim, 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 swim! Ooh, look at that octopus! Let's go down this way! We're so close! But Mr. Seal is in the way. Excuse me, Mr. Seal! Or, or, or! Well, let's try another way. Let's go back up here. How about this way? Swim, 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 little fishy! Which way should we go? Let's go this way! Whee! <laughs> oh, it's so fun the way the fish spins around underneath the stingray. We're almost there, everybody! We made it to the treasure! Hooray! <laughs> that treasure chest, it looks a lot like the treasure chest in our fish tank. Do you see it? Let's take a closer look. Someone else found some treasure too. A magnet is a good tool for catching treasure. Let's catch some colorful fish with a magnet fishing rod. There's a magnet at the bottom of this fishing rod so we can catch the colorful fishies. Look at all the different colors. What color should we try and catch? How about the orange fish? Here we go with our fishing rod. The orange fish! We did it! <laughs> There's a paper clip on each of the fish so we can catch it with the magnet on our fishing rod. Let's catch the yellow fish. Hey, fishy. We got it. That's a pretty yellow fish. There we go. What should we get next? How about the purple fish? Okay, let's see if we can catch the purple fish. 
really close to the pink fish. We got it! A purple fish! That's a long fish. Let's get the blue fish. Here we come. Almost there. <gasps> got it! <laughs> a blue fish. That's fun. How about we try and get this red fish? It's hiding in the corner. We got it! Our big red fish! You can try making a fishing game like this at home if you have some paper clips and a little magnet. It's really easy to make and very fun to play with. Let's catch the pink fish. Here we come. Pink fishy. We got it. One pink fish. We have one fish left. The green fish. Here we go. Let's get the green fish. We did it! We caught all the fish! Let's count the fish and throw them back in the water. One, splash! Two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven! Splash, splash, splash! We got seven fish! <laughs> with our magnet fishing rod. Now, this magnet fishing rod reminds me of another kind of magnet called a magnet grapple. It's a really strong magnet that they use at scrapyards to sort different kinds of metals. It can even pick up a car, it's so strong. And it kind of looks like this fishing rod. Let's take a field trip to a scrapyard and we can see a magnet grapple up close. Let's go! This is where metals come to be sorted and recycled. This is a magnet grapple. It's a big machine that helps with the sorting. That big plate at the end of the arm is an electromagnet. That's Kyle. He's making it work. Kyle presses a button that sends electro currents to the magnet so he can pick up tons of metal. Then he can take it where it needs to go and stop the electro currents to drop it. Wow. The magnet grapple can even pick up a car. There it goes. Kyle uses a big piece of metal to crush the car and make it flat. Whoa. The magnet grapple is so strong. Magnets help us do all kinds of things, like sort metals so they can be recycled properly. Magnets are awesome. Whoa, that's a strong magnet. Magnets can pull things like the magnet grapple did, but they can also push things. Ooh. They can push and pull. Those are opposites. I know a song all about opposites called Open Shut Them. Let's try it. Follow me. Open. Shut. Open. Shut. 
open and shut are opposites. What are some other opposites you can think of? Let's sing about them in our song. We'll start with open and shut. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Fast, slow. Fast and slow, fast and slow. Fast, 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 slow, slow, slow. Fast and slow, fast and slow. Fast, 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 slow, slow, slow. <laughs> Happy, sad. Happy and sad. Happy and sad. Happy, 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 sad, sad, sad. Happy and sad. Happy and sad. Happy, 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 sad, sad, sad. Big, small. Big and small. Big and small. Big, 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 small, small, small. Big and small. Big and small. Big, 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 small, small, small. Loud, quiet, loud and quiet, loud and quiet, loud, 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 shh, quiet, loud and quiet, loud and quiet, loud, 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 shh, quiet. Good morning, good night, good morning, good night, good morning, good night. Good morning, good morning, good night. Good morning, good night, good morning, good night. Good morning, good morning, good night. <sighs> Give yourselves a big clap. Those are lots of different kinds of opposites. Hey, take a look at this. Can you guess how I made this painting? With magnets. <laughs> I'll show you how you can make a painting with magnets like this at home. Let's gather the things we need. Some things we need for this craft are white paper, some metal objects, paint, and a grown-up. Got lots of different colors of paint here. Every metal piece in this bowl will stick to our magnet. Look at that! <laughs> we can use the magnet to move the metal pieces and the paint on our white piece of paper. I stuck the piece of paper on something sturdy. A thin cutting board or a sturdy placemat would be perfect. Okay, let's make some magnet art! <laughs> What color should we start with? How about green? We just put a blob of paint anywhere you like on your paper. The middle's really good. And then pick a metal piece. How about this guy? That looks interesting. We'll make it move with our magnet. Here we go. Woo, look at that. Smooshes the paint all over. Whee! Ooh, some big circles. <laughs> it's a little different than a paintbrush. That looks really neat. Let's try something else. There's all sorts of different pieces. Ooh, look at this. A circle or a key ring. We'll try to put that there. How about some yellow? Yeah, some yellow here. Wonder what this will look like. Here we go. Oh, some yellow mixing in with the green. That looks neat. Let's try and get some over here. Wow. It's really different. Depending on what piece of metal you use, it'll look really different on the page. 
How about this one? This one's like a, a spring. I wonder what kind of markings that'll make. Let's try some blue. Yeah. Put some blue down here on the paper. Put that in the middle. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, wow. It's rolling all around. This makes some thinner lines. Oh, I like that. Let's try and get some over here. Try and get some over here. All over. Whoop. Get some paint. How about over here? Is that down here? That's pretty neat. Looks really interesting. Wow. <laughs> I like it. I think we've made a magnetic masterpiece. Turns out magnets can make some pretty neat art too. I really like this painting we made. If you make a magnet painting at home, I'd love to see how yours turns out. Every painting would be pretty different, don't you think? I had a lot of fun exploring magnets with you today, but it's time for us to wave a big goodbye to all our friends, but we'll see you again soon. Let's wave and sing. Bye-bye, goodbye, thanks for playing.